Good morning. It's time for Faith Art Journaling. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Barb. Good morning, Annabelle. And Eve. And welcome to Faith Art Journaling. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday. Don't yes. get confused. It is Wednesday. Okay. Yes. Um, yes. Thank you for pointing that out, Annabelle. <laughs> and next week, we will be meeting on Wednesday instead of Tuesday. Just these two weeks, because unfortunately, I had to get a, a medical procedure done that the doctor only offers on Tuesday mornings. So, how did that go, Jeannie? But um. So, Annabelle, you want to know how my doctor appointment went I, yesterday? I do. I do. You're, you're going to love it because I think you may have the same problem. Uh-oh. Because I know we, we, we suffer from similar symptoms sometimes. Yes. And we share <laughs> that frustration and those symptoms, you know? And um, so I got a scope yesterday. And in the endoscopy afterwards and the end results, they told me I had a ton of inflammation. So I realized, wow, I'm not chubby. I'm just inflammated. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We're <laughs> all a little inflammated. I'm going to have to use that too. <laughs> right? So that's the story, and I'm sticking with it, okay? I'm just inflammated. <laughs> <laughs> Well, glad it all went well and nothing serious. Yes, yes. Thank you. So far, so good. Just some little things, little diet changes, trying to relax more. And um, and I have to faith our journal more. You well, know? I was just going to say that. More relaxing things in your life. Yes, yes. Yeah. Like ladies and in art and having so much fun as we discuss the Lord and, and just have so much fun diving into his word and tying in uh, scripture and art techniques uh, definitely is very helpful to calm everybody's nerves, right? Absolutely. Amen. Yes, yes. Well, before we continue, I'd like to start off in prayer. So let us bow our heads. Dear Lord, I want to thank you so much for the gift of this beautiful day. I want to thank you so much that we are safely here together, engaging in your word, engaging with each other, and engaging in art. And may you reach out and bless each and every woman that is listening to us today or tomorrow or whenever, dear Lord, help us to reach them with what they need to hear, dear God, from you. Guide us in our conversations and may everything bring you glory, honor, and praise, dear Lord. We love you and we thank you for the gift of your protection under your wing. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 In a time amen. of so much unsettledness, what a beautiful time to talk about God's protection and that protection that can truly only be found under his wing. Right? Yes. I love today's lesson. Well, before we dive into the lesson, ready for the giveaways? We have a <laughs> lesson yeah. winner of the week that we need to select. So excited. So let's show, show the gifts. Here's the first gift. Oh, um, well. <laughs> sticky notepad, which is just fun. And it's got rolling on the floor, laughing, chuckle, slow clap. <laughs> So just a little something fun. Yeah. We've got this wonderful little gift bag full of embellishments. Look at this. There's Ooh. so many in there. Oh, look at Never that. Never have too many. Right? There's a bunch. And I love how they're in neutral colors so you can add the color that you yes. would like. It'll match anything you're doing. Awesome. Great idea. idea. And it says, let joy be your compass. It says all different types of inspiring things and it's got flowers and leaves and all sorts of beautiful decorations. Wow. Um, throw in a little journal cover that you can create your own little mini journal by folding it in half and putting some mixed media paper in, or you can use it to take notes. And I'm going to throw in this beautiful 12 by 12 Ooh. pack of paper and stickers. Yeah. And uh, this says friends together, just us, so fun. Enjoy the simple things, memories, all sorts of great things. And what a great way to maybe um, rec record 2020, you know, a little glimpse of this yeah. year, looking back at these memories of things that you've done, like Zooming with your friends and family and the new adventures and work mm -hmm. and different experiences and uh, different challenges as well. And you're going to need something to put all that, all that fun, right? 
That's right. So what better than this beautiful album? Look at oh, this. Wow. Oh, I that like that. So, that kind of goes with today's lesson. Exactly. Yeah. I saw the, the leaves and the mix of some of the leaves beautiful. that were feathers. Pretty. So, wow. And you guys better share your drawings and your your art because there's some nice gifts in there. I'm going to like right. camouflage myself and enter the contest. <laughs> <laughs> That's some nice stuff you're giving away. Right. I'm so excited. Oh. It can be used as a scrapbook for photos or yeah. for paper, whatever you want to do. Or it. Use it to make a gift. We have Christmas yeah. around the corner. That's right. And yeah. uh, a great time to really do like a, a crash course or crash uh, project for Faith Art Journaling is upcoming down the holidays and Thanksgiving. If you normally travel and you're not traveling this year, you can do it during that time that things slow down a little bit or during mm -hmm. Christmas time. So ready for our lesson blessing. The drum roll. <laughs> and the winner is Tammy. Yay! Yay, Tammy. So Tammy. Congratulations, you are a lesson blessing Ooh. this week. And I would like you to please send me your address or whatever address you'd like me to ship this beautiful box out to you. And it brings us great joy to congratulate you, right? Yay! Awesome. <laughs> but I always love receiving mail. Oh yeah, me too. Right? What email, mail. Like a real, you know, something in the mail, be it an envelope or a small box. It's just so exciting. It's like, like, like a little gift. No, absolutely. Even when it's something you ordered and you forgot you ordered it. <laughs> yes. Yes. I ordered something in the beginning of the pandemic and it was from China. And I think I got it like, honestly, no lie, like three months later. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've forgotten I ordered it and it showed up and it was just such a wonderful surprise. I was like, oh, I forgot I ordered this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are sometimes the best. <laughs> right? Absolutely. Absolutely. No, my well, favorite is when you when you get an email from UPS as your package has been delivered and you're like, what package? <laughs> oh, that package. And you run outside and you're like, yeah. yeah. That happened to me that's last awesome. night. So <laughs> oh, I know. That's great. Carol, that good bad. morning. <clears throat> morning, Carol. Morning, Carol. So glad to see you joining us. So excited. Um, Sorry, Myrna, yes, we are signed on. I'm going to text Myrna. <laughs> Five, yes, we are. <laughs> a beautiful friend. Hopefully she can join us as well. So once again, congratulations to Tammy and that wonderful prize that we're going to be sending out to you. And everyone, as you log on or you watch this later, please be reminded during the week, if you send us a picture or post a picture and tag us, with the um, lesson for the week, we will enter you as a winner. Every week there's a new prize, so you don't wanna miss out on that. So be sure to um, put it on our, our Facebook page or you can direct message us. And uh, this week is gonna be under God's wing. So let me ask you ladies something. Have you ever, do you have a memory of ever being scared? Oh yeah. Or frightened <clears throat> and you got comfort or protection in someone or some place. Think about that a moment. I remember every time when I was a little girl, if it would thunder, I was scared of thunder. I would always run to my parents' bedroom and I would cuddle up there between my mom and my dad. And I couldn't sleep on the end of the bed. I had to sleep in between them. <laughs> <laughs> like my dog. Still married after all these years. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? Sometimes, I think this is an easy one and a lot of people can share. Sometimes when you're driving in really, really bad weather, you know, kind of like that song, Jesus Take the Wheel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so true. It's like you just pray, just get me home safe. Because yeah. I don't know about you, but I hate driving in thunderstorms or in rain. And if it thunders, I just get so nervous, I jump. So yeah. that's one of my big ones. Yeah, it's so true. It's so true. And I remember my dad telling me, you know, it already passed. You know, if you've seen it and heard it, it's done and it's over with. And I'm like, it still makes me jump. Yeah. Yeah. To this I, day. How about you, Barb? Do you have a memory? No, I mean, I wish I could say another one, but I was thinking thunder right away, too. Thunder scares me. Well, we've been having these tropical storm and hurricane scares in our area. 
So yeah, yeah that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, we would go into the closet. <laughs> but I do remember um, when I was really young, you know, we lived in Illinois and the tornado warnings and the sky would like turn green and they would have the siren on and we would have to run into the, the cellar or the basement. I was very young, but that was very scary. <laughs> wow. Wow. So fears, lots of things yeah. that we can be scared of. I know that for me, a big one was the thunder and living in South Florida all my life. We unfortunately yeah. have to deal with that a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but I also remember one time there was a, a storm and my husband and I were just married and we actually hid in a closet in the center of the house. And that was actually Hurricane, um, I believe it was Hurricane Andrew. And yeah. then when you know it came and went, our house, we were okay other than no electricity for a while. We come to sell that house like about a year later and the people that we sold it to had to endure a storm as well, but they weren't as lucky and their roof caved in and guess where it caved in? That closet. That uh -huh. closet that my husband and I were hiding and, and sleeping and thinking that we were safe. Oh, okay. oh, and I'm That's sharing cool. that because, you know, we sought protection there, but any protection that we seek here on earth, or from an earthly person or earthly, um, you know, component whatsoever, mm -hmm. is a false sense of security. It's temporary. You know, it's fleeting. It'll be um, not true protection that we truly seek that can only be found mm -hmm. under under the wing of our Father. You know, God protects us, and He already won the battle. You know, Jesus conquered death when He died on the cross. He did not remain dead. He arose on the third day. You know, He won the fight of protecting himself and us against death. We have eternal life just by accepting him as our personal savior. Amen. So, Amen. so that's true protection. You know, some of us have had the fortunateness of had a father as a protector. I remember my dad was, you know, a big burly guy and I would just run under him being a scrawny little girl back in the day. And I was hiding behind daddy's leg or hiding under his arm. You know, first thing that we do when we want to protect somebody or comfort somebody is what? We yeah. spread our wings, yeah. right? And we bring them under our wings. As a mom, we do that all the time with our kids, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. The first thing that you do, I remember we had an RV uh, mishap and I was with another girlfriend, uh, Maggie. And the first thing that she and I did was spread out our arms and protect our children. You know, we held them safe as we, you know, endured a, a big scare in an RV almost accident situation. And in the same way, God extends his wings to us and under them, we find mercy, we find protection. And this week's uh, Bible verse that I'd like to share with everyone is 91.4. And it has such special meaning, especially this week. Psalm 91.4, he shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings, you shall take refuge. Now, ladies, this last Saturday, Barb and Annabelle were with me. So I have witnesses that what I'm going to say is true. <laughs> the craziest thing happened. I oh. was sharing a personal testimony on Saturday in a wonderful ministry called Dare to Share. And I encourage you ladies, they meet the first Saturday of every month. And each Saturday, a different woman will share a different testimony. Their Jesus story of how Jesus has gotten them through difficult times. And it's so inspiring and encouraging and uplifting. Well, as I'm waiting to share my testimony, I'm quietly waiting and they're doing the introductions and the prayer. All of a sudden, one of the ladies feels in her heart so compelled to share Psalm 91. <laughs> so that she was she read through it entirely and she was saying how she's been memorizing it and she was um, meditating on it all that morning. No. So she's like, Oh my goodness, I've been reading Psalm 91 this week also, you know, in my head I'm saying this, and this lesson this week is going to be on 91, and on 91.4 specifically, I was like, wow, what a God thing, you know, there's no coincidences, there, are, I don't know how to say it, God incidences, you know, <laughs> the opportunities, God optimism, God incidences, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> But then as I gave my testimony, further to my surprise, I remembered one of the pictures that I was sharing in my testimony on a slideshow was actually me doing faith art journaling 
with Psalm 91. And it's one of the ones I'm going to show you today. So isn't that crazy? Zero conversations about it. I hadn't spoken to the ladies in charge of that ministry at, in, in quite a while, but God definitely, I feel, wanted me to be reminded that I am protected under his wing. Mm -hmm. I can find comfort, I can find security, and I can find strength there. Amen? Amen. Aren't those God incidences amazing? I no. <laughs> right? If anybody else has had a God incidence, I would love for you to share or uh, a time in your life that you felt you know, truly protected and I know that as I've endured different difficulties with, you know, my son, with my parents, with health challenges and things of that nature, the only place I can find true comfort is in the Lord under his wing. You know, and I've been in bad weather on a boat that I've been very scared. I just close my eyes and start either praise, singing praise songs or um, praying literally to, to the Lord. And it gives me such a sense of calmness, right? Mm -hmm. Ladies yeah. had a situation like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Well, he calms the seas, right, and stills the storms. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I want to go ahead and share some art ideas with you as we go further into God's Word, and uh, Barb's going to have a beautiful prayer to share. So you're not going to want to miss that. Something she shared with us a little earlier, and it was just <laughs> really beautiful. And we'd like her to share it today. So let's dive in and everybody get your feathers ready. So if you don't have feathers, we're going to have some optional other art ideas that you can do without a feather. But think about it. Maybe around your house, you have a boa. Oh. Or, right? A boa from I a, never boa, thought of that. a decoration yeah. or anything. You can just kind of pluck one piece out of your boa or cut it off. Maybe a hat. Oh, a hat? A hat in it. Mm -hmm. Maybe, um anything around that may even look like a feather if it's not a feather. And if you don't have a feather, well, if you download our lesson on our website, every week we have a new lesson and all our lessons are available online on our website at faithartjournaling.net. And you can even collect them. And we have covers that you can put so you have your own little binder at home, any size that you want, but you can print them out like I did here, and they have stencils in them to help you out. So we're going to show you how to use those as well. And if you don't, or you're, if you're not comfortable with your art supplies and need some more goodies, check out our website also for our startup kits. We have some great startup kits in these cute little bags um, that are embroidered, and they're just so cute, and you can use them to put anything in. But we have our mixed media journals and all the supplies you need, and very affordable just to help you get started in case you're a little overwhelmed by what to get and how to get going. And we also have a numerous amount of videos out there that show you how to go through everything step by step. And it walks you through the different startup kits that are available too, to what exactly is in there. So I encourage you to do some research, spend time with the Lord and, and, and look to see what's available out there. Good morning. Oh my goodness. I hope you heard um, uh, Ikania, what I said about faith art journaling. It was kind of in our intro, but uh, so glad to have you join us this morning. So let's go ahead and start diving into uh, God's word and our art activity for today. And uh, once again, I'm so excited to share this with you. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over my camera. So excuse me a moment and here we go. So this is a copy of the printout under God's wing. And in it, when you go through it, it'll give you uh, questions for thought, the key scripture, techniques, material list. It gives you some pretty pictures of ideas. And it does this for every lesson that we go over. And the idea is that you go ahead and get it ahead of time so you can be prepared with any materials. Um, but if not, not to worry. And here's a bunch of information. And this is some of the clip art That's that we have great. at the back of the lesson. Mm -hmm. So we have angel wings. Uh, as selected, and then we also have the feathers, which the feathers is the activity that we're going to go over more today. Now, there's no right and there's no wrong way of doing this. It's all about spending time in God's word and connecting his word with scripture so that we can remember it and just um, meditate in it. And every time, hopefully, when you see something with a feather, you'll be reminded that you have God's protection. So, what I did was I did multiple copies of the back page uh, clip art that's available on our lesson. 
and I cut them out, as you can see right here. You can make multiple copies, and that way you have multiple um, multiple stencils to be using. Tammy, good morning. And I don't know if you caught that, but congratulations. Hey. Um, congratulations, Tammy. Yes, yes, congratulations. You're we the winner. Yeah, we got some great goodies to send your way. As long as Annabelle stays away from them. <laughs> So we've got some little stencils that are included in the kit, but you don't need to, to buy the kit if you don't want to. You can just get ideas and work with it. I honestly bought feathers because I only had a couple and they were in bad shape for, I think it was like $4.59 off Amazon. And look at this. It came with two bags. Oh, wow. wow. That's a lot of feathers. Right? <laughs> and look how pretty they are. So if anybody wants just a couple of feathers, let's say you just want, you know, three or four feathers. Honestly, if you direct message me, I'll be happy to mail in an envelope a couple of feathers to you. So, you know, as you see, I have plenty here. It'll be my pleasure too. I really don't mind. So if you just want a couple, um, like I said, please reach out to me individually and I'll be happy to just mail a few your way. So, <laughs> have them in so many different colors and different textures and with different patterns. So this is very inspiring. So I'm gonna grab these feathers and put them aside so you can kind of see the ideas of what you can do with them. The main idea is lining them up and using painter's tape or washi tape to make a stencil. And you're going to see how easily that can be done like I did here. And you can make it short, you can make it longer like I did on this one and you can use it on the top of the page, the bottom of the page, on the corners. There's so many great ways that you can use these feathers. And you can use them more than once. If you notice, these have a, some blue paint on them. So what I did was I just set it aside, let it dry, and I can reuse it, right? Mm -hmm. And I actually kept these. Now, the painter's tape that I'm talking about, a lot of you know it by the blue tape. <laughs> when anybody's gonna be painting and you're marking off different areas. Now, um, realize that this tape comes in all different colors. So it doesn't necessarily have to be blue. If you don't have that, you can get regular tape. And if you get regular tape and you basically stick it to something and yeah. go back and forth to take off some of the adhesiveness, especially if you're wearing like jeans, it'll make it less sticky. Then you can use it because the idea is that if you do tape it to the page, that you'll be able to peel it off without ruining your paper. So hopefully you understood that. And another option is washi tape, which is decorative tape, but it it's paper tape with the same component that it's not super sticky. It's made to be removable and, and, and you can use it easily for things of that nature. So anyways, there's different options with the painter's tape to use. And let's see some of the ideas of how you can use them. So this is one that I just put the feathers here on the side and spray painted it on the side and just smeared it. And when you're choosing feathers, you know, you want to choose strategically, however the design is that you want. I like this one because it had a lot of fray in it. So it gave a lot of feathering effect. This one's more solid, so it'll have less of a feathering effect in the center, but it'll have a nice edge because look how pretty that edge is. So strategically pick, pick them up with them how you want. Here's another idea. Once I did it, I sprayed again. I sprayed first blue with the feathers there. And after I did the blue, I got a lighter color and I sprayed primarily on this part that was white, like that one was white. So it added that nice yellow spray effect. And then I outlined it with a yellow marker. If you look carefully, you can see a little bit of the yellow overspray on the blue which I liked because it gave it a little bit more of a pattern, some depth, mm -hmm. and I just love that. Whenever you're doing layers, I think it just adds so much to a page. So this one, I wanted to change up my fonts. That's pretty. Keeping them skinny, I started to make them fat, and also alternate. You know, you can always alternate your fonts with print and cursive, skinny and fat, tall and short, decorative and simple. So a little change like that or changing in color Look what a difference the, the font made. Big difference. Yep. And then in this one, I put the feathers randomly. 
oh, around. Like that. So I basically mean, just, you know, put them in different areas and then sprayed. And once I finished that, I noticed that I had some dead space. So I went in and I just drew a couple of feathers here and there. So when you spray, did you wait for it to dry before pulling the feather off? Uh, what I did was, well, I guess you'll show us, but yes, I'm going to show you and excuse me, as I have Myrna trying to get on zoom instead of <laughs> Facebook. Oops. Uh, um, Let's help Myrna get on. <laughs> how fun. Hopefully she can join us. My ladies, I got to watch out for them and help them along the way. So sorry. <laughs> But I'll show you this. But the biggest thing is when you're working with the feathers is when you go to move them, don't drag them because it'll smear. Right. So when you put it down and you spray it, you're lifting it straight up and away to dry. So with these um, random ones, I did the same thing. I kind of I set them down and I did them in sections. And I like this one that has a reminder of all the things that can be found under God's wing. You can find protection. You find mercy. You find gentleness. <clears throat> find refuge. Amen. Amen. I like that. Very pretty. And so I also wanted to remind you that it doesn't have to be vertical. You can do it horizontal. There's no reason why we don't do things horizontally. And it can be a one page layout. It could be a two page layout. Absolutely. And let's say you're not in the mood to do the template with the feather. You can actually use actual feathers Ooh, oh that's beautiful i like the colors decoration are these colors pretty yeah very pretty yeah these were the dilution ones they're so bold and bright yeah dilution bright. i they're like those bright they have a lot of pigment you're going to you notice online genie uh yes yes especially now during covid i really buy everything online but um, what I like about it is it has that vibrant color, but if you want to dilute it, you can. You can always add water and make it a softer color. Hmm. And then I zigzag the verse in there. And then this is a sample for the angel wings. Hmm. Once again, you can sketch it and draw it like I did there, or you can get the idea from our lessons mm -hmm. so that you can copy paste or use as a stencil. Now, I do want to share a fantastic idea that Annabelle and I discovered this last week, and I think Barb did too, but I thought that this was so cool. If you Have you ever had something that you want to draw that has details like this? If I cut this out, I'm not going to be able to use it as a template other than the outside. How can I draw the inside, right? Right. Well, if you get a graphite pencil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a special pencil, graphite pencil, and... You go behind the image and you color really hard to make it all black in that area. If you put it on a paper and then with anything, with a sharp point, you can use a regular pencil for this part. You Trace press it. and draw around all the detail. Mm -hmm. The black that you marked on the back with this graphite pencil will serve as a transfer to the paper. So when you press it and make an indentation on the paper, everything you press, all those detailed images will be on that other paper. It's such a cool technique and I love it because sometimes there's an image like that angel wing that has so much detail. And if you wanna copy it exactly, that's a great way. Now, if you have transfer paper, that's great. Yeah, I found this, this is also graphite paper. In case you can't find the pencil. So you can, these are little sheets and same concept. You just put the sheet in between like a tracing mm -hmm. paper. Yeah. Yep. So very and nice. let's say you just want to draw the feather. This is one example. And actually this is the one that I was sharing on the picture at Dare to Share that I was just talking to you about a little while ago. That's and my favorite. I love it. It. I, it was just such a coincidence. If I show you the picture, it wasn't even colored yet. It was just in pencil. So I was I didn't even realize that this was the page in that picture until yeah. I zoomed in and we were discussing and I reflected. So when we shared Dare to Share, you know, they were talking about Psalm 91. She read Psalm 91. And then I actually, you know, I'm teaching Psalm 91 this week. And I, that was the artwork, you know, referring yeah. to in the picture, you know. Talk about mm. incidences, right? Got incidents. Oh, I love it. Yeah. 
So <laughs> I, I love how I did a heart there at the end. I really like that. Because it all lead, leads us to the world. I love that music, yeah. right? That's and then what I did was careful little patterns. I followed a little bit of a rainbow pattern. And then I did hearts, straight lines, curvy lines, dotted lines. That's a cursive E. You know, do images that you're comfortable with. Um, that's why I did, you know, a lot of hearts. Once again, the E's again. And then I put some words in there. I put Jesus. Oh, that's so pretty. I did little waves. Mm -hmm. So it's just different patterns and shapes. This one says peace, love, joy, Lord, my God. So I spent a lot of time showing you this one because this is one of my favorite ones. I really like this one. And then I wanted to change it up since we're in fall, right? Yeah, falling in love again with Jesus. Aww. I did this That's one. Beautiful. I love that. So this one, I the feathers, but I incorporated it with some fall leaves. And this one, I had fun with the fonts because on the downstrokes, I made them a little fatter and added the color orange. And instead of black, I wrote in a skinny brown marker. I have a lot of these little skinny Sharpies that I really like for journaling. So sometimes if you want to write something that's a little softer than a black mm -hmm. because of whatever colors you're using, the brown really, uh, I think, worked out well and brought yeah. together the fall colors with the orange. So this technique is really easy, too. I can you know, show you a little bit of, of how to do those downstrokes fatter if you'd like. And then I further got creative because I thought here was a wreath. And then I was like, okay, what if you don't want to do a whole wreath? What do you want to do a, like a part of a wreath? And I think I still want to add some detail to this. But this one was with watercolor. And with this one, I came up with another technique idea that I'm going to share with you all. So I think you guys have lots of ideas to see what you want to get started. If you want to paint with the feathers, glue the feathers, use the feathers. Do you want to trace the feathers um, and cut them, you know, cut them out and trace them? Do you want to use them randomly? Do you, you want to use them as a stencil? Decorate them. Do you want to say forget the feathers and you do an angel wing or doodle a feather or do a wreath or partial wreath? You've got lots of ideas here. So in order to do the feathers, I wanted to show a couple of ideas. This one I just did with a marker. So I literally just got a skinny marker and, whoops, wrong side, these dual tips. And one like that, and then just did little lines like that. And I continued to do them in a light color and a dark color. In this demo, I started on the dark color, but traditionally I would always start off with the light color. And then this one, if you notice, I think it looks even more feathery. That's a trick I'm going to show you right now. Or this is the actual feather that we have in our kit. And I cut it and then I traced it. After I traced it, I just added some of the inner detail, which is basically the cut downs in. So that one was easy. And... This is the sample of putting a feather down and spraying it. Oh, Which like this one is just so very easy and the main one. And as you can see, you can put it um, on the side. Actually, I'll go ahead and I'll do another one like right there. So you can see how it looks if you do multiple on a page. And this one I'll do in a, a different yellow spray. So you can kind of see now I, if I spray it right now, the pressure of the spray might blow away the feather. So I would definitely secure the feather and you can do that with a little bit of washi tape and just spray down. And when you go to lift it up, you'll see the little feather edges. You could also use the feather as a little stamp. If you saturate it enough, you can use it as a little stamp too and just do sporadic images around. So there's a lot of things that you can do with the feather. The easiest one and my favorite one is to do it in a row, but you can do different layers and have different shades, different hues of color, which talking about hues of color, we're gonna have a great color class in the near future. So I wanna make sure that you guys watch out for that and don't miss that. But 
when you get one of these tape borders, it's so nice because you can tape it here on the side and let's see this one i'm gonna put right there so i just tape it down and this feather went crazy so i'm gonna have to put a little more tape sometimes they may have a mind of their own and that's okay kind of just work with it and that's one thing that i like about these mixed media techniques is that they're perfectly imperfect so let's get another color i'm gonna get this fun crazy corally color And once you spray, you can leave it as a spray or you can get a material to add patterns to it or get a cotton ball and spread it. And then when you lift it straight up, you have the edge of it. Very nice. So there's lots of ways to, to work with that. So I'm gonna set that aside. But what I do wanna show you is this center it's called a cut brush technique and this was a really cool idea that i came up with yesterday that i wanted to share it's not on our lesson uh so we'll be adding it on our lesson and as a reminder if you ever get a lesson and we add to it you'll get an alert and you can be informed of the latest lesson idea because like this one is a really cool add-on so when i was doing the feathers with the markers i was like there's got to be a faster and easier way to do it with a brush you can use a skinny brush and just sit there and do line, 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 line. But it was getting really tedious, especially since I was doing, you know, a lot of feathers. So I was like, there's gotta be a quicker, easier way. <laughs> I found if you get a flat brush, a flat, dense brush that you're not too fond of, and you snip some ends to it, you make a feather pattern. So what I did was I got Whoa. scissors, really skinny scissors. And as you can see, if you ever have skinny, tiny scissors, you want to protect them with some sort of cover so they don't get all dull at the end. But what I did was, um, let me get a darker color. Let's see if maybe behind this blue, you can see it better. If you see the detail, see how I cut little V's into it? Mm -hmm. wow. By doing that, Instead of painting with a straight line, now it'll paint with that little feathering technique. Ah, Isn't that amazing. a cool idea? That's interesting, mm -hmm. yeah. Right? So I'm going to put a little ink here because you can paint with ink. You can paint with pretty much anything that will make color. I'm going to add a little bit of water in here so that it's not so dark. And I'll show you how this works. Let me grab a fresh paper. So I always like to do also not the first um, paint of it because if you have it really saturated wet like that and you go to paint, look how wet it is. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. wet, so it's not going to work well. So you want to dry it a little bit. And as you go, let me add some more color because it's a little too light because I can see it, but you guys can't see it too well. You want it on the dry side, which you can dry it off to the side. Or if you have a, a junk rag that like I always have around to save on paper towels, sometimes I'll tap it there. But as you go brushing like that, it has the edge of like a feather. Look at that. Let me do a darker color so you can see a little bit better. And, and I love to also layer it with different colors, not to leave it just one hue of color. <clears throat> and then you can just and it's funny, for some reason, I always like my left side better than my right side when I'm doing it. <laughs> Isn't that funny? This one I did darker so that you can kind of Interesting, see, yeah. see it a little better. That's but interesting. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Wow. Well, I did the wow, what a great idea. Right? And there you go. I got a beautiful little feather. Yeah. yeah. You can actually get those uh, brushes at the dollar store, like the cheapy ones, and you just, you can do that. Yeah, the key is for it to just be square. Yeah. yeah. It has to be, you know, it's very flat That's and awesome. very square. You can just nip those little ends. Hmm. 
Very good. Isn't that a idea? I like that. I'm going to go ahead and switch my camera and share a little bit more from our lesson. And then I'm gonna, I want to see what Annabelle and Barb are doing. Okay. <laughs> Before we continue, I want to go ahead and dive into Psalms 91. It's so beautiful. And uh, just such comfort can find, be found there under the protection of our Lord. So Psalm 91, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of Jehovah, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover thee with his pinions and under his wings shalt thou take refuge. His truth is a shield and a buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, like the thunderstorms, <laughs> nor for the arrow that flieth by day. For the pestilence, that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thy eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. For thou, O Jehovah, art my refuge. Thou hast made the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh in thy tent. For he will give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the serpent shall thou trample underfoot. Because he hath set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Isn't that just beautiful? That is. I'd like to just remind you, you know, that that security and that strength and comfort that we can find under God's wing, you know, is not find any place else. And under his wings that are so widespread because they cover us all, we find true protection and mercy and gentleness and refuge. But we can only know that if we trust him and we can only trust him if we know him. So I encourage you to get to know our Lord and Savior. Another verse that I really like is Deuteronomy 32, 11, as an eagle. He spread the abroad his wings and he took them and he bared them on his pinions. So you could do artwork with an eagle, with a bird. You can do a, a hen covering her baby chicks. You know, there's so many ideas out there that you can do. Um, I know a lot of you are much more artistic than I am as far as uh, artistic techniques. So there's just so much out there that you can do. Psalm 17, 8 says, keep me as the apple of thy eye. Hide me in the shadows of thy wings. Amen. And then the last Bible verse I wanted to share with you is Psalm 36, 7. How priceless is your unfailing love. Both high and low among men find refuge under the shadow of your wings. God will not fail us. How many of you have been failed in life by someone and even someone you love? All the time. We're human and unfortunately they will fail us. But our Lord has an unfailing love for us. And because he loves us, we can find true protection and comfort under his wing. Amen? Amen. 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 So, Barb, before you share the, the prayer that I want to share with everybody, I, I'd like to see what you guys are doing artwork-wise. So, Annabelle, how about you share a little of your yeah. art, please? Speaking of birds. As you're watching everything, if you have any questions, please um, ask us questions and be sure to say hi. We'd love to hear from you, okay? So, Annabelle, go for it. Um Speaking of birds, I don't know where you guys live, but another um, place to get some feathers would be from a peacock. Mm -hmm. um, I know my dad lives in a place where there's peacocks everywhere. So he's 91. So he loves to collect the, the feathers and he collects them for me and he gives me little baggies full of flamingo little feathers. He doesn't pluck them. They fall off the flamingos. 
<laughs> the flamingos. I mean, the, yeah, whatever the peacocks, flamingos, peacocks, whatever. So um, I just kind of use them because I like them. So I just covered my background with a bunch of um, acrylic paint and just, I literally smeared it everywhere. Let it dry, very important. Then I did some stenciling with some feathers I had, put them in there and I just layered a few. And then I kind of made a little bird, little peacock. That's my own little peacock there. Um, and then I put the real feathers all around. So these I put in the background and I glazed them down. I had some glaze and after they got put down, I glazed it so it would be part of the paper. And then I wanted a little three dimensional. So I put some more here. Then I put the little peacock there and then my verse. Um, so it's just a lot of layers. And why I mentioned the peacocks is because this will always mean something to me because my dad got them for me. So, you know, I just, I like that little you know, thought. So every time I look at this, I'll think of my dad. And um, I, I love the peacocks. They're so beautiful. Um, yeah. So... You can do so much. I was playing with this till one in the morning. And I, <laughs> I'm tired today. <laughs> it turned out beautiful, Annabelle. Yeah. It really did. It really oh, did. Yeah. You know, when you get started with stuff, yeah. so, you know, you get encouraged yeah. or motivated and you just keep on working or you get frustrated yeah. and you're seeking an idea that you're truly happy yeah. with. Because I know you have a, a couple of birds uh, laying around your table, don't you? Oh, my gosh. You don't <laughs> It looked like, like five dead birds on my table and I, everywhere, feathers everywhere. I cleaned it up though before I <laughs> it was a mess. Be sure to hang on to the feathers because next week, once yeah. again, we're meeting on Wednesday instead of Tuesday, just one more week. I'm sorry about that, but it's because of medical reasons. But next week we're going to be talking about tough turkey. Mm. So as we're doing some turkey art. You may want to use some feathers, so yeah. keep in mind if you have some feathers around. And um, once again, if you want me to mail you a couple of feathers, <laughs> send me an address and let me know, direct message me. I'll be happy to mail you out a few in an envelope. So, Barb, how are you doing? Let's see a little bit of your art, and then I would love for you to share that beautiful prayer that you shared with us earlier today before we started. Okay, great. So here's my page, and uh, I... Yeah, I did the the technique that you showed in the beginning where, where we're able to use the feather and then um, do the spray my dye. I did some distress ink and, and sprayed on top of it. I think I used this cracked pistachio. And so that turned out really pretty, gave us the feather technique there. And then I just added some feathers on the page to give it a little more color. And I did my... I, just used a separate um, little piece of chipboard that I had that I painted white to put the verse on. Um, so I think it turned out okay. I love those colors. The colors are beautiful. Right. Thanks. And if you have a little piece of chipboard, you could always use just an extra piece of scrap paper that you have around. It could be a piece of notebook paper. It could be just anything really. And then Jeannie, you asked me to share a prayer. And this is from A Diary of Private Prayer. I love this little book. Uh, you know, when you're just not really sure to pray, sometimes that happens. Um, I just come to this little book and I'm going to share one of the prayers. Um, it says, um, Dear Father, take this day's life into thine own keeping. Control all my thoughts and feelings. Direct all my energies. Instruct my mind sustain my will, take my hands and make them skillful to serve thee, take my feet and make them swift to do thy bidding, take my eyes and keep them fixed upon thine everlasting beauty, take my mouth and make it eloquent in testimony to thy love, make this day a day of obedience, a day of spiritual joy and peace, make this day's work a little part of the work of the kingdom of my Lord Christ, in whose name these my prayers are said, amen. That's beautiful. I love that. Yeah. Right? That was absolutely beautiful. I think that you really spoke what's in a lot of our hearts and a lot of our minds. And sometimes you're right. It's it's hard to, to pick the right words, but yeah. praise the Lord. He knows what's in our heart and in our minds. And 
Uh, it's just so beautiful. I think that that's a very encouraging uh, book, and I look forward to you sharing more of that. And um, time before we start, I'd, I'd like you to continue to share with me and Annabelle as we try to to get yeah. focused on the Lord right before we go live to share with everyone else. Because yeah. in the mornings, it's like, quick, clean up. Is a light yeah. on? That, that was me. That was me with the sponge, and I'm like, I'm a mess. I'm a mess. I'm all frazzled. Feathers everywhere. Help! And <laughs> like, stop. Take a deep breath, and Barb read us that prayer, and I was like, yeah. Okay, yeah. Just focus and just breathe. Yeah, it's so funny. We take that for granted. Yeah. Sometimes we're in that panic, you know, fight and flight mode. We're go, 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 go. Yeah. When we need to do what we do need to do is not go. We need to stop. stop. We're in the Lord a moment. So sometimes just taking a step back, you know, taking a big deep breath in and then letting it out slowly, like you're just gently blowing out a candle, you know, um, will just give you a little bit more calmness. And most importantly, focusing on the Lord, like Barb was reading that prayer for us, um, or just being in the Lord uh, in prayer can just re really help you to slow down and focus on, on what you're truly really doing and put things in perspective. Because sometimes we're worried and frazzled about so many different things that don't really make sense. I you know, especially <laughs> when you wake up late, especially that's when you can stop. That help. <laughs> yeah, right? Regroup, center, and I should practice what I'm preaching right now because <laughs> I think we all need to. We all need to. <sighs> but that's why we're here to encourage each other and to remind each other because we forget we're human and you know we forget. Myrna, we're so glad that you found us. You found us. <laughs> meet on zoom so it's an easy mistake Myrna but we're so glad that you joined us as a reminder this is normally on Tuesdays but just this week and next week will be on Wednesdays but we're live on Facebook and YouTube and after this is um, engaged in live we do keep the recordings so there's a library of videos available on YouTube and on um, our Facebook page but if you subscribe to our YouTube channel you will be alerted whenever yes. there's a new video. So I encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll know when there's something new coming out. As well as if you go to our website, we do have an email that you can sign up for. And we promise not to torture you. We don't send them out very many. We should probably be sending them out more often. But life is busy and everyone's busy and we don't want to torture anybody. And we just want to make sure that you're all in the know and you know what's going on. Because I know a couple of people that didn't make it today because they thought it was yesterday and, and scheduling gets hectic sometimes. But if you miss one week, just, you know, watch a replay or pick it up the very next week. Don't be discouraged. Things get in the way, but you can't let Satan get a foothold and get, you know, an open door opportunity to bring you down or discourage you or distract you from serving the Lord or enjoying his presence in different areas of your life, like we do in faith art journaling. Um, I'd like to share one more thing in our questions for thought. And in our uh, online lesson, you know, I have all the scriptural references to cross-reference different areas of the Bible with supporting scripture for everything that we're discussing. But I, I would like you all to think about this. Do you all truly feel protected? Do you truly wholeheartedly feel protected? I want you to think about that. You know, and if you do, awesome, wonderful. And if you don't, how can you feel truly protected? The foundational needs in human nature, physiological, security, love and belonging, self-esteem and self-actualization. Although earthly fathers may neglect to meet these needs in our lives, our heavenly father abundantly provides all of these. Under God's wing, we can find protection, mercy, it's wide spreading, it's gentle, and he is our refuge. Some of us have known a loving father and can relate to this easier than others. Some people never had a father or had an abusive father situation, which makes it all the more difficult to understand how someone can, can um, truly experience that and, and have that love for us. Um, Myrna, to answer you, we don't see you physically. We see your name and you can comment and you can ask questions. Uh, but we won't see you live on Facebook. The camera doesn't work for anybody unless we um, actually send you an invite to join us. And we're talking about we need to do that soon with our behind the stage uh, warrior, Arlene, 
who is the one that does a lot of the technological and templates. And she's the one that went to school for that in art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is much more talented than I am as far as the art aspect is. But uh, unfortunately, her work schedule doesn't allow her to join us in person live as much as we would like to. But um, I, I do feel protected and that protection can only come from the Lord. And I encourage you that if you don't, I think it just means that you need to get to know the Lord more. You know, once you truly know him, you will know his love. And then once you know his love, you'll know that you are protected. Do you agree? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and switch my camera so I can show you our ideas one more time in case anybody missed anything. And I would like to extend an invite for any questions that you might have regarding the technique the font supplies. We'd love to hear from you and answer any questions. Um, so I'm going to put aside my little feather. So you know, as a reminder, you can just draw with markers. You can use the cut brush idea that I shared with you that I cut a flat brush with little V marks just to have little indentations. And I kind of got that idea too from, you know, a comb. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you could try a comb. Or also there's mixed media tool hmm. like this. Oh, I have that. I never use it. I forgot I have it. You can use that. <laughs> So you have different uh, tools around yeah. the, the house that you can find and use. You know, you can cut, color, paste, make your stencil, you know, from a paper online. And remember, it can be horizontal. It does not have to be vertical. It could be a one-page, two-page layout. You can use spray inks, paint, watercolor. Here's a watercolor design. That's so pretty. So we, what we do here is we share techniques and ideas to tie scripture together with art. Today's technique was engaging in feathers since we find protection under God's wing. And what we did was we created a template as you can see with these feathers and using painter's tape, we lined them up they can be very long, they can be short, you know, select the feathers of your choice, or you can cut out feathers from paper and create your own in just the same way by laying them carefully and using painter's tape or washi tape, any type of paper tape, paper tape and taping them together. So you can have this easy template that you can move around. And I've uh, used this one several times, which is why there's several colors of tape. Because if you take care of it, you can use different ones. So I can definitely show you with paint instead of ink. Uh, as soon as I go through all the samples one more time. This one, I added some fallis, some little acorns, some leaves, a little pumpkin. And um, definitely being fall, you could always add, you know, falling in love with Jesus. Oh, that's a cute idea. <laughs> and then this one is also very fallish. And with this one, the font was so easy and so much fun by doing the downstrokes fatter, I was able to add some more color. And the downstrokes are just that every time that you go down. So when I did the, the he, let me grab a Sharpie so you can see it really good. When I do the H for the E, here I went down, I just made that one fatter. And then with like the E, I do an E like I normally do, but with, with the stroke that goes down, I made it fatter. And just by doing that, and then adding a pop of color in that gap, it really changes the font. Mm -hmm. You know, it just adds a lot. So that's an easy little trick. And you don't have to actually add color if you don't want to. You could always just make the downstrokes fatter in a solid black. And it would, you know, change it up. And at the end here, you can either make a little curve or do a leaf. Um, but it just changes it up from doing it like that. Like a standard, you know, capital H. I kind of just realized something. If I could, like, interrupt real quick and share. because. Yeah. I was just trying to make a leaf 
and I realized I had some like fringe cutters in my drawer. <laughs> oh yes, that's a great idea. So I just, um, I don't know if you can see it. I oh, kind of yeah. just, yeah. That's a great yeah. idea. I just realized I had these. I'm like, oh, this will work. Yeah. And they're spice cutters too. These are fringe cutters from Fiskars, but you can use if you have this, the herb cutter, right? Herb, herb. Not spice, herb oh, cutter. Wow. Yes. That's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> great idea. That's a great idea, Annabelle. Thank you. Yeah. So you have always things around the house that you can use to do yeah. things. Jennifer, um, did you see that Yakanya uh, wanted to have you show us how to do the color with the feather uh, using paint? Yes. Yeah. I'm assuming that she means to use it as the template that we showed in the beginning, but I'll be happy to show it again. That's not a problem. Okay. I was just going to go through these really quickly. So if anybody wanted to see ideas see it earlier, they can get working. And this one, I did a doodle. I followed a little bit of a rainbow spectrum and I did familiar shapes, starting with a heart at the end. You know, some were straight, some were zigzaggy, wavy, cursive E, hearts, dots, dashes, rectangles, triangles. And then here I put Jesus saves, peace, love, joy. So this ad added a lot. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Our Lord is amazing. <laughs> amazing ideas and he is so wonderful and all glory to him. And this one is for the, the angel one. Cause like I said, in the back of the lesson that we have online, we do have the, the stencil available for our angel wings. If you'd like to, to do an angel wing instead of doing the feathers like we're doing. And if you don't want to deal with paint, you can just you know, color your page and add the feathers for just an embellishment detailed look. And then these were the random feathers that were placed. I love that one. That's one of my favorites. Really? Yeah, oh. I like the colors. They're just all so different. And then these yeah. were the ones that I used actually as a template, which I've used it with spray ink. But we can definitely try with paint instead because there's different ways of doing this. This was the one that I showed earlier. And once again, we can do another layer in another area. So I will get another one. And I'm going to put this one. Actually, I'm going to put this one downward. I'm going to put this one downward. And... Stabilize it with a little bit of the paper tape. And since I've been using this a couple times, I'm going to need to put a little bit of a bigger spot here on the corner. And so yeah, the easy one that I showed you before, which was just spraying. And then you just lift it. So that was the spray one, which is pretty easy. But I had somebody request it with paint. So let's see how it works out with paint. In all honesty, I haven't done it with paint. So <laughs> let's see what happens. What happened was we're going to make a mess. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> I got a good friend of mine that always says that. Well, what happened was. So let's actually try give this one a break and do a different one. I'll do this one. Once again, you can do this on the side, the top, the bottom, at an angle. You can create a wreath and do it. Look how pretty that would be if we did it like that. Yeah. Oh, actually, you know what? I got it. Okay, I'm going to do it like that. <laughs> Prettier. I'm challenging you. She's so funny. Well, you know what? <laughs> I like a challenge. Oh, I like a challenge. Keeps us sharp, right? <laughs> right? So I'm going to let's see. I'm going to put this double tape on the bottom to secure this a little bit because now we're getting creative here with a wreath. <laughs> yes, this was, was a challenge. So let's get paint. I guess we can use watercolor paint, we can use regular paint. I'm going to use some paint paint. Sorry for the noise. 
but I'm going to try this paint. And whenever you're working, make sure you have a surface that you don't mind making a mess on. This is actually a silicone mat. It's a kitchen mat. So it's actually for cooking and baking. And uh, it just works out perfectly for this. Maybe a little bit more. And um, get a thick brush because you're going to want it to go spread out quickly. And I'm just going to do brush strokes like that. Oh, and these feathers are colored. So something that I just noticed is if you use a lot of wet medium, it's going to spread the color of the feather. No way. Yeah, look at the green. It's green. Oh, wow. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. 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 The purple, the blue there also spreading. Hmm. Okay, all credits go to Vicania. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Pretty cool. Right? Yeah. Now we can do the same thing. And I'll do oh, this wow. one. You can do your verse in the middle. Exactly what I was Ooh. working on. Yeah. See that? Great minds think alike. Of course. <laughs> That's because we're cooking up a mess here on your silicone mat. <laughs> yeah, right? Ooh, I love wipes. I don't have any babies, but I always have wipes. <laughs> oh, you can definitely do this with watercolor. I was going to actually try that one as well. Because I've done it with the inks, sprays, or a stamp pad. But I kind of like how the feathers are adding extra color. That's interesting. Right? So but you they, use like the orangey yellow color and you got the green and all that. That's yeah. Nice. Awesome. Look at the color I'm using is a yellow. It's like a gold. That is so interesting. I, I didn't realize I did that. <laughs> and then I like how at the end I left some white. So you see the yeah. lamp. I didn't do it solid. And then as much as possible, lift straight up. Look how cool. Wow. That's pretty. Interesting. And then depending on how sturdy your feathers are, you could always, you know, rinse them and reuse them or just set them aside and, you know, reuse them as well if you don't mind them being a little bit dirty. But mm -hmm. this, yeah. so this one came up pretty cool. And look at those edges. Those edges were directly because of the feathers color. I love that. That turned out really nice. Yeah. And that's one thing that, you know, I love about all this is that, you're, you're not supposed to do exactly what we're doing. This is not a formal art class. Right. I will give you some techniques and inspiration and ideas, but this is not for you to copy me or to be specifically an art class. It is meant to be faith, art, journaling, which is a time that we connect scripture with art so we can understand God's word more, so we can remember God's word more and grow spiritually closer in our relationship with the Lord, right? That's right. So let's try watercolor and see what happens there. Let me show you my feather real quick that I've made with my little herb scissors. Let's see. Let's see it. And, um, oh, wow. See, I cut it out with beautiful. paint on it. Kind of cool, right? I just yeah. cut it that Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, those inf those infusion colors of the feathers were all your idea. <laughs> How's it going for you, Barb? Let's see what you've got going on. Uh, well, <laughs> I was playing around with a uh, paintbrush that oh, I actually found like this paintbrush that was kind of good. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked out pretty well. I was able to make oh my that. gosh, that's awesome. That's like a fan brush. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, you know, I just looked around and I found something that I thought, hey, let's try this. <laughs> and you I, I the the <laughs> yeah. So, Thank you. I'm going to work on the lettering now. That that always gives me a challenge. <laughs> I remember to start with pencil. I am. I've, I've got my pencil. 
and my eraser. Oh, I love that. And now I need a fan brush too. <laughs> oh, this works. Everyone's going to the dollar store today. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I'm writing things down. <laughs> Isn't there a makeup brush that looks like that? I've never been too into. Um, yes. I think it's like a contour or something. I don't know. I've got one. Yeah. There's a makeup brush that looks yes. a little bit like that fan brush. So what do you do with this? You will have one. And you will have one. one. Have one right? your makeup drawer. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. So I'm going to do one more sample with the watercolor. And as I do that, I am going to. Uh, remind you of our verse and please, 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 please like us on Facebook and share. What an easy way to share God's word, right? Right. Mm -hmm. You know, what a wonderful way to evangelize and just plant seeds. Uh, and especially in a time that people are so stressed between weather and tropical storms and 2020 chaos and health issues and the elections and everything, everybody's so tense. And we need, need to truly trust in the Lord and go to him for our strength and guidance and spread his love. No matter, you know, what side of politics or whatever you're on, we can love and be kind to and respect to each other and just enjoy this time together. So we encourage you to please help us spread God's word. Be sure to like us, follow us and, um, and share your samples of any work that you do so you can be entered at winning uh, next week's Lesson Blessing winner. So I want to make sure that I have a bag full of names to pick out. I just so enjoy sharing all that with you all. And I'm going to try a last technique, and it's going to be with watercolor. So first thing is to adhere this. And get my feathers going in the right direction, right? <laughs> Woke up with ruffled feathers. <laughs> so strategically kind of put them how you want them. There, I think. This way is better. There we go. All right. I just wanted to sh share something real quick, Jeannie, um, mm -hmm. that I, when I was looking through Instagram, I saw these cute little ornaments, like for 2020, it says like all the craziness for 2020, but then on the back side, it said all the good things of 2020. Mm -hmm. And um, I know we all are dying for this year to be done and what have you, but I have gotten a lot of good things out of this whole pandemic and everything. And one of them is this, you know, this platform. Yeah. And, you know, I love it. I've made new friends on Zoom and I've loved doing the faith art journaling with you. And you got to kind of focus on a lot of the good things that have come out of this. Um, and I just wanted to share that with you because this is a great, great thing that we've done in this year. And I'm going to always say, hey, 2020 was when we did this faith art journaling. Absolutely. I, I truly agree with you. Yeah. And I think that it has brought a lot of families closer. Okay, yeah. Sorry, my paper is talking and my face is not there yet. <laughs> uh, it's brought a lot of families closer yeah. together. And uh, it's brought us also uh, a Bible study on Friday morning. On Friday, yeah. I've been able to do now with a lot of women that live in different areas that people yes. could join us. So exactly. Friday morning, we do have a word for word, verse for verse Bible study. We're studying Matthew right now. And if you ever want to join us for that, you're more than welcome. Carol joins us and we have a wonderful time. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you are interested, Friday mornings, 9 a.m. That is through Zoom. So you would need the password and the yeah. invite, which I'd be happy to share with you. So direct message me personally if you're interested in that as well. But um, I totally agree with you, Annabelle. We need to be thankful. And that's something that we're going to be talking about next week when we talk about tough turkey, you know, about tough times and about being thankful in tough times Absolutely. and that focus. So I'm not going to talk too much yeah. about that right now. But thank you for sharing yeah. that. There is a lot of good that can come yeah. out of it. And it's it's having the, that God optimism. Yeah. You know, <laughs> our eyes on seeing things yeah. through the eyes of Jesus. Uh, there's definitely so much to be thankful for. The time that has been spent together, the growth. I would not be doing this if it wasn't for the pandemic. It's yeah. true. Yeah. I would not have yeah. ever thought about going live online. I'm like, live online? What? Stream what? You know? We want to figure things out, but I think we're doing okay. It's been <laughs> scary. And and the first time it's like, oh, what are we going to wear? How's our hair? <laughs> you know, looking for, for family members walking around in their underwear in the background, you know? <laughs> 
<laughs> our dogs too. TMI, Jeannie. Our dogs, exactly. Hey, I spoke in plural, all of us, okay? <laughs> I'm the only one that people walk around in underwear. <laughs> Barking dogs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. But no, amen and, and praise God for his blessings. And um, we're well over the hour, but I want to just go ahead and try this out with watercolor since it was specifically asked. I think yes. that would be nice. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick, uh, I think I'm going to pick an orange. I'm going to saturate my big brush because I want to do a big area. And I would think it couldn't be too wet so it doesn't go all the way through the um, feather mm -hmm. because the feathers are kind of light. And I think that that also would make a difference. And one thing that I love about watercolor is it can be as dark or as light as you want, depending on upon how much water you put. It's a little softer, yeah. That's beautiful. You know? I love colors. I can't wait for the color class. Yeah. So excited about that. Wow. Wow, you can even leave those feathers there. That is so pretty. Thank you. Yeah. Their idea. She has so many great ideas. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh. The thing with this is while it's wet, and let me see if I can carefully shift it so you can see on camera. Sometimes you'll end up with a little puddle like that. Mm -hmm. I think that, that puddle is beautiful because it's got a density of color that's added and I want it to dry just like that in a clump. Now, if you don't want it to dry like that, you can just get you know a towel or paper towel and blot it and it'll pick up that extra wet accumulation of watercolor there and it'll be a lighter color. I don't wanna do that because I like a little bit of the boldness. Uh -huh. And then me personally, I would get some of the extra you know color and darkness and maybe add it to the corners you know, and make the corners a little darker. And then just do the scripture in a darker font here. Um, but I can see this page coming out nice with a little bit more layering. And also uh, something that Barb and I were doing yesterday, which is so easy, is splattering. Splattering mm -hmm. is fun. Yeah. So you can just, you know, saturate really wet and kind of tap. Look how pretty. Yeah. Oh, I, I like that. that. It looks we pretty. forget to do it, but it's so easy and yeah. it just gives it such a pretty touch. Yeah, it just adds another layer to what you're working on, which I think makes it look so nice. Mm -hmm. And and I agree with you. We could definitely leave the, the feathers there. Yeah. Um, maybe I will add them um, a little bit, you know, to like a corner, you know, or something. Maybe like in, in this one corner here off to the side, add a few. Or to the top, half, of, half of it maybe. Or yeah, yeah. There's so much that you can do. Yeah. So have fun, enjoy playing with, you know, color, texture. Layers are so important. If in doubt, put another layer. Yeah. You know, if you don't like something, just keep layering and cover. You'll cover it up, and eventually <laughs> you'll find something that you're happy with. But I find that's why it's so important to have mixed media paper. So the yeah. journals that we have online um, are very important because it's got a thicker paper, and I don't have one next to me of course, because I kind of tear out my pages and I work on them with tablets because it's easier oh, yeah. to go in the class. But yes, yeah, yes. we have those available online, a small version and a big version, and uh, they have a great texture to them. So they hold up to the wetness mm -hmm. of the watercolor and the wet mediums and everything that you use. Because if you use regular paper, or regular notebook paper, mm -hmm. or regular journal paper, it's just going to fall apart. Because remember, paper is partly made with water, and and so it's just gonna totally dilute and fall apart and you'll be very discouraged. And, and like remember, well, go ahead. Remember gesso, you can cover it with gesso also. Your paper. Yep. yep. Gesso is like a primer, and we go over that more in our how to get started uh lessons, and that's always very helpful. And when you're working in your notebook, protect the following page. Uh yesterday, Barb, you want to share that really quick before we say goodbye? Uh, I know I was um what was I doing? So I was, I was, you know, putting the, all of the yellow on, and then I didn't realize that it got on the next page. 
Well, you started your next page. Oh, good. I started the next there page. You go. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, you should always open it up and yeah, lay yeah. it out this way, you know, so that you're not going to um, get onto the next page. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. You want to be working on each page solo, or yeah. if you're going to work on it in the book, get a piece of plastic. Yeah, yeah. Protect it, slide it in between the pages to protect the following page, and that'll be very helpful. But um, if there's any other questions, uh, feel free to contact us. And like I said, if anybody wants me to mail them out a couple of feathers, feel free. Uh, <laughs> And also, you know, Google it and download it. And a feather's not that hard to draw, honestly, as long as you start off with a good pencil and a good eraser. I love the the Terra, oh my goodness, I can never say this word, Terra, Ticonderoga pencils. I just love them. They're, you know, I can't say it, but they write so well and they erase well. And when I'm sketching and writing, I always do it sideways. For me, it's easier because I can control the pressure and I can draw lightly because I tend to be one of these people that just kind of break through the paper because I apply so much pressure when I write and draw. So when you're doing your first sketch of whatever you're planning out or the fonts, you always want to make sure you do it really light. When you're happy with it, make it darker. But it's kind of like a sculpture sculpting, you know, their design little by little with the eraser. You can go making the shapes and the forms. Mm -hmm. So. Hopefully I answered the questions with everyone and hopefully you're hungry for more, more time with the Lord and more time in faith art journaling. Uh, once again, please like us, share us, follow us, sign up for our email, subscribe for our YouTube channel, all that fun stuff. And uh, faith art journaling doesn't have to be today. You can do it, you know, every day on a lunch break. You can do it in the morning with your coffee. However, it's such a beautiful way to start your day. I know that I look forward to these mornings you know, it's really stressful once we're waiting for the countdown. Okay, we go live in one minute. We're all freaked out. And then we get started and we start chatting. And it's just such an enjoyable time. And we're so uh, honored to be here with you. And we thank you for the gift of your time and this opportunity to share God's word, you know, and our love for God, our love for art, and our love for each other. Amen. Amen. Now go chase some peacocks. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and remember that you are safe under God's wing. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. Amen. So accept him today. Feel the warmth of his love and his shelter that only he can provide. Amen. 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 Ladies, have a beautiful day. Amen. See you next week. Wednesday for next a turkey. If you've got some feathers, you want to keep them around, yeah. but it's going to be more doodling than, than anything for our art technique for next week, and it'll be lots of fun, so you won't want to miss out. Alrighty. Thank you guys. Good week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>